Previously, we've taken a look at iMovie's uh, easy-to-use interactive editing modes, but there's a special editing mode in iMovie that we're going to take a look at today. And to do that, let's go take a look at a clip. Now, here we have a project that we've looked at before. It's something that we've edited uh, for other screencasts. I'm going to click right here on this clip, and you'll notice that an action menu appears. And when the action menu appears, what I'm going to do is click on that, and I'm going to bring up the Precision Editor. Now, this is something we haven't looked at before, and most people don't know is in iMovie. When I hit Precision Editor, the entire bottom part of the screen switches over to a different timeline. So instead of the normal view that we would have in iMovie, up here on the top, where we would have clips, and we can move our cursor along the clips, we have transitions between those clips, and we have other clips, and then down at the bottom we have music for those clips. Down here in the Precision Editor, we have a lot more control over what we're doing. So the Precision Editor is, just like the top, is a timeline. And because it's a timeline, there's a little uh, slider down at the bottom to change the scale of our timeline. So we can zoom in and out of our timeline. But what we're going to notice here is that in addition to having the normal elements, we're going to be able to see them overlaid with each other. Because really when we do something like drop a transition between two bits of video, that transition is actually making a conversion from one frame to another frame. It's doing an effect between the two. And that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing those things overlaid. And so if I click on this first clip here, we're going to notice that the clip begins here. And this mark here in the blue is where the transition begins. And if I put my cursor here, and we look at the top right corner of the screen, we're going to notice that what I'm seeing is a transition between the two elements. And so this is where that transition begins. And when the transition is over, we're going to end up having our second clip. And so if I move the cursor along to the right, we'll notice that that first clip is now grayed out. So the clip is really still there, but the transition is acting at the point at which that clip edits out. And so as I move my cursor along, What I see up in the timeline is uh, the same thing that I would see if I move my cursor along the main timeline, which is the video. However, the thing that I can do here that I can't do in the other is that I can click and I can drag the video along. And when I move the video, it changes the point at which the transition occurs. So now if I want the transition to occur later, I simply drag that first effect over. So now if I want the transition to occur later, I simply drag that first bit of video over and the transition happens at a different place. There are a couple of extra controls here in the Precision Editor. The first control is the Show or Hide Extras. This is going to show me things like titles and voiceovers and sound effects. And so when I click that button, now I see here is that audio clip. That's the audio clip that I had dragged in. The next thing that I can turn on is the audio waveform. And so if I click that, the audio waveform will appear. And that's going to show me actual peaks in the audio, which I can use to help line up my music with my video better. And next to that, I have the jump to the uh, previous edit and jump to the next edit buttons, as well as the play the current edit. So if I hit play the current edit, I see just the section that I'm working on. That's my current edit. When I uh, want to move something around, I simply drag it and it moves it. When I'm finished, I hit done. And when I hit done, it goes back to the normal view. And there I have my project edited using the Precision Editor.